Hey everyone, today we're visiting the Vancouver Toy and Comic Show located in Vancouver. So this is actually my first time coming, but I'll be happy to take you guys along and we're going to look for some Pokemon cards. So super excited. It's pretty packed today. So yeah, let's get started. Right off the bat, this vendor had a bunch of very nice vintage hollows, a lot of high grades or PSA 9s, Skyridge hollows, base set hollows, some uh, shining cards as well. I was eyeing down that Jolteon Skyridge hollow, PSA 9, uh, beautiful artworks, a lot of X and Y hollows, and a bunch of different Charizards from first edition Shadow List, the Shining Charizards to the uh, Blaine's Charizard. So a really good variety. Um, honestly, such a treat to see all these EX series cards as well. Um, yeah, and you can see there's a bunch of product that this vendor has. Um, great assortment from very modern stuff to vintage stuff. So we had to check out their binders as well. Super cool assortment of cards. Uh, it seems like they got a bit of everything here. And the prices are pretty clearly labeled at the sort of top of each page. Uh, it says like 18, so that means it's $18, all, everything on that page. Uh, but yeah, super impressed with the variety. They got everything from, uh, so that's Platinum Arceus there, some vintage hollows, uh, some, yeah, some stuff from Fossil, uh, Jungle, and Base Set. Um, you also got some more modern EX there. And honestly, that Chansey EX looked really good. Um, was debating about picking that up as well. And yeah, and you know me, I love the sort of middle era. And so I took a look at that prime as well, but I was hoping for something in a bit better of a condition. And so, yeah, I kept looking, but honestly seeing those EX uh, silver borders and those uh, level X cards got me super excited. Um, you know, even if the condition isn't the best looking through these, uh, it was still a blast. Uh, yeah, there was some modern stuff, so more affordable stuff that the kids can probably pick up. Um, so I think that's a really nice part about this vendor is that, you know, there's truly something for every budget and for like collectors of all ages, kids can probably afford a dollar or two cards. Um, and then there's obviously some of the higher end, uh, slabs, uh, that I showed earlier that adults can pick up as well. But yeah. And then we see here that we got some Japanese cards as well. Love these Japanese hollows, um, super sick. Uh, and then. Yeah, we got some more vintage cards, some Pikachu promos I was pointing at. And yeah, oh, we see a band card here too. Uh, so that's a band Misty. Um, so I thought the price point was a little high for that card. Otherwise, I would have loved to pick it up. Uh, do keep in mind, this is in Canadian dollars because we're in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, but yeah, honestly, the selection is just sort of um, is pretty incredible, I would say. Yeah, and then here's a bunch more sort of EX, uh, X and Y era. So oh, we got Shining Legends, wanted to pick up some Shining cards. And this Plasma, I think it's from Plasma Blast, that black and white card caught my attention. Um, definitely interested in that era as well, sort of the middle generation. And yeah, and then we're back to some more vintage cards um, and some trainers, but I wasn't super keen on those ones. Um, I was sort of still hunting out for some middle era stuff. So that's prime cards, level X or EX cards. But nonetheless, it was still super cool to see these cards, uh, you know, in person. I think it's a totally different buying experience when you get to actually look at the condition closely before you actually commit, which is uh, honestly a huge reason why I love these card shows. So um, I would encourage, you know, anyone that's on the fence to actually do some uh, card shows and actually attend them. It's really fun. I got to meet a lot of nice people. Yeah, this binder is super nostalgic for me. I'm really hitting it on the nail. Um, honestly, these Delta species, gorgeous cards. Uh, Neo Discovery, such a nice set. All these Vaporeons there, Hollow from Jungle. Um, you know, we got the Torterra level X from the Tin promos. Honestly, you know, super nostalgic. Had it as a kid. Um, every time I see it, you know, even though it's like a four or five dollar card raw, same with that Dialga level X had that as a kid as well. It was in top, it was on the top of the tins. Um, we'll never forget that card basically. And, uh, that's still a card that I need for my collection in a PSA nine. And yeah, so this next binder had some more modern cards. So we got some celebrations here, uh, pretty new set and a bunch of shining fates cards, uh, promo cards. 
you know, we had some of these XY cards, uh, break cards, not a huge fan of it, like most people, but um, still, you know, cool to see here and there. Um, but honestly, uh, I'm still looking for some celebration hollows that I'm picking up slowly. So I was pretty interested in that. Uh, just some more sort of XY cards here. I wanted to check out the Steel Legs from Steam Siege, I believe. I think it's one of the most expensive cards, but it's still only a few dollars. I considered also those um, Shinings from uh, Shining Legends, but the condition wasn't the best, so I decided to pass on those. Um, but honestly, though, these uh, more modern cards are still quite highly sought after. Um, got some gold cards. And yeah, this next vendor had a bunch of cool cards. Uh, we got some Lorcana there, but then do you guys see what I see? A Charizard Gold Star. Those guys definitely had some pretty high-end stuff. Uh, so super awesome. Uh, next, you know, we looked at some merch, uh, some Demon Slayer stuff. Uh, so they seem to have a bit of everything, not just Pokemon at this booth. Um, but, you know, took a quick look at their binders. Um, a lot of cool modern cards, mainly from Sword and Shield era, it seems. Uh, some, you know, promos there, some Surfing Pikachus. So that's from Celebration, some Shining Fate promos uh, as well here. And then I think I picked up this Zapdos uh, for, I think, $3 here, I believe. Um, I was pretty interested in sort of just those Celebrations hollows as I'm still trying to complete that set. And... Uh, get some pretty minty cards this vendor also had a bunch of funko pops a lot of them are signed uh super cool to look at but i'm not a huge funko pop collector uh here we got a alt art binder super cool um alternative arts here a uh, bunch of charizard some evolving sky glaceons uh we got some chilling rain moltresses uh, lost origin and yeah this booth honestly was super sick um I did eye down this Mew Prime card. I ended up picking this card up at first for $105. I thought I had a really good deal. Here, more Charizards, more sort of high-end cards, a lot of raw cards. Uh, the people at this booth were super nice. Uh, they were like a couple, but um, you know they're super easy to talk to. They're very friendly, so I definitely recommend checking them out. And they always have very high-end cards, uh, as you guys saw from the slabs, but also uh, here in their binder, you can see that they really compact uh, with a lot of highly sought after hits, um, a lot of alternative arts, a lot of gold cards. So I also picked up that Breakpoint card, I believe, uh, that Houndoom EX. Um, it was super minty, and I think he said that they pulled it themselves, or, and it was sort of like almost like a PSA 10 quality card. And so I thought it was a pretty good deal. So I picked that up for $15. Uh, also, you know, definitely a lot of cool cards here in this binder as well. You got the gold cards going on, a bunch of gold. Um, you got a lot of different uh, generations as well. Some reverse from Diamond and Pearl. You got some uh, vintage Heart Gold Soul Silver stuff. Uh, you got some uh, Shining Legends there, I see. And, you know, some very cool Prime cards. And this is probably my favorite page. All the Level X cards, some of the Diamond and Pearl stuff. And a lot of the pre-release kits, which was cool. And yeah, it was they have so many Charizards. And then we're I think this is sort of like a trainer binder. So they have a bunch of different trainers, different rainbows. And then you got these Radiant cards. Um, literally just a plethora of hits uh, after hits. I love flipping through their stuff. Um, so yeah, I do recommend checking them out. Very easy to work with. So very happy I got those cards. Um, you know, they have more uh, rainbow cards here and uh you know some full arts and i think they had some mcdonald promos at the end but uh honestly all pretty well priced they price it on the spot and they usually give you a pretty good deal so even if pokemon's not your thing there's a bunch of other vendors that carry other card games such as magic and dragon ball z uh, as well as Yu-Gi-Oh here uh, so this is a really cool vendor that did a uh, sort of like a real life uh architect slash sort of um car parking lot um, they actually sell those pieces so super cool to see their figures as well um, you know they were really nice to talk to Ru super talented people um, i'll have to find their contact details somewhere and put it on the screen but here are some more vintage cards uh, this binder had some you know mix of modern stuff and a little bit more older base set stuff um, as well as they had some 
middle era stuff that I was kind of interested in. Um, but I believe this wasn't a sort of Pokemon booth. It was more of a jewelry booth. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of knickknacks like this. A lot of um, sort of fun items. Now we have a bunch of plushies here. Um, my partner really enjoyed this. Um, you know, a lot of cool stuffies. Uh, very. They had a nice deal going on too. But, um, you know, I wanted to save my money for the card. So I didn't end up picking up anything. But honestly, really cool to just check it out. Um, yeah, here we can have sort of like an overview of how big this uh, card show was. So it was like two of those spaces. Um, here, you know, I had to try the vending machine. So... How it works is I give them uh, the money and then they give me a token and then I can sort of try my luck on these machines. So unfortunately, I don't think we did too well on the hits, but it was honestly really fun to just, you know, uh, give this a try. I never actually used one before. So, um, you know, I thought it would be kind of fun and, you know, probably worth the gamble just for the experience. But I probably won't do that again uh, just because the value wasn't the best. Um, but yeah, honestly... Flipping through these cards, looking at these vintage, uh, you know, diamond and pearl stuff, like stuff I collected as a kid, you know, no matter the condition, I think it's always sort of a uh, treat. And, you know, this vendor was pretty small. They had some tops cards, um, but, it, you know, it was high quality tops cards. So um, great to look at. Um, thought about buying this, but it was like, I think the set was 200. So I'm not sure if that was a good price. So I decided to pass up on that. Uh, so this is J&J &J Collectibles. I featured them before, but honestly, great people, uh, great location uh, in New West. Very easy to work with. Um, you know, I bought cards from them in the past. Some of my viewers here also go to them. Uh, shout out to Sunny Bunny. Um, so yeah, very cool vendor. They had some great cards. Um, you know, always have some nice hits that I'm interested in, uh, such as that Arceus uh, card. Um, but then, you know, different binders uh, they have some vintage ones some more modern ones such as this one um, i'm currently also in the market for uh, rainbows especially from the sun and moon era i think they're pretty short printed and quite hard to pull especially for some of the middle sun and moon cards and so yeah that's why i kind of want to pick them up and a lot of them are pretty affordable uh, so i've been buying a lot of those from uh, yeah j and j collectibles um, yeah, and then obviously, you know, they always have a bunch of modern uh, trainers and a lot of slabs here. Um, you know, I like how they keep updating their slabs. You know, they were posting uh, the slabs for sale right as they bought them during the show, which is cool. Uh, we got a cool fossil pack there, uh, graded a seven though, but so still very cool seeing a fossil pack actually encased in a PSA case. Uh, I actually never held one in real life before, so uh, it was really nice that they let me sort of hold it and take a look at what it looks like and how it feels. So I will probably consider grading some of my packs in the future as well. Yeah, so I would say this vendor is probably one of the bigger ones, J&J uh, &J Collectibles. Uh, you do have a huge variety of different binders. I think they named their binders, uh, which is pretty funny, but... Uh, a lot of trainer gallery cards. We see uh, different rainbows, uh, some cards from Vivid Voltage now, uh, Shining Fates promos. Uh, we do see a lot of, um, yeah, more Shining Fates, uh, a lot of different gold cards mixed in as well, and then some more Peko. That V Union card, I actually never owned one before. Wanted to give a huge shout out to Totodile Tales. Uh, we met him at the show. Uh, he's also local and makes YouTube videos. He's super nice guy, very genuine. Definitely recommend you guys checking him out. He had some cool slabs, some packs as well. Uh, yeah, honestly, overall, very nice guy to chat with. And yeah, he makes great content too, so definitely check him out, guys. After that, we looked through some more binders. So they had some Japanese cards, uh, some of these band cards, these Moo Moo Milk cards. Uh, but honestly, I think they had some versus series too, or vending cards, and the art is just magnificent on these cards. Like, um, you know, although they're not super expensive, but they're very, um, you know, they have a very sort of hand drawn style, and they're super, you know, they evoke a lot of nostalgia emotions. Um, so obviously, this is a comic show, so there's a bunch of comics as well, which is super cool. But yeah, let's get back into the cards. 
Um, again, we have a bunch of XY cards here at this booth. Um, we got some nice Generations cards. Uh, we got some EX cards again. And, you know, I think the overall theme for this sort of card show is that there's still a lot of raw cards. Uh, definitely a lot more raw cards here than, than slabs. Um, but, you know, it's not a bad thing. I think it's great to have so many raw cards that you can sort of, a lot of them are mint, which you can then grade yourself if you want to. Um, so yeah, honestly, very fun to flip through these binders. Um, I would say it's one of my favorite things to do at these uh, card shows. Um, and just having chats with the vendors, honestly, a lot of them are so nice. They're so easy to talk to and they're collectors at heart too. And um, it seems like a lot of these vendors do this as a side uh, gig or a sort of a side hustle. And, um, you know, it's cool to talk to a lot of like-minded people, which are uh, local to you as well. So, yeah, again, definitely recommend everyone checking out a card show. If you're in the U.S., uh, Collect the Con seems to be a, a staple for these kind of shows. Um, but, yeah, even if you're in, like, Canada or something, you know, these shows are... Uh, it should be pretty accessible to most people um, if you're living in a larger city, of course. And yeah, honestly, this booth had some pretty cool glass Pokeballs with Pokemon inside. Uh, and then, yeah, checking out more binders. It's binders after binders. So this one had more Japanese cards, um, you know, EX cards, Level X cards from Japan. Um, yeah, like honestly, I, I would collect these kind of Japanese cards as well, but... Right now, my goals are more fixated on the English cards, so I try not to deviate too much from my collecting goals. But ultimately, you know, a lot of these exclusive Japanese artworks, um, you know, they look gorgeous. Definitely want to check them out eventually, but I can't seem to get myself to buy them right now. Um, but yeah, you know, beyond Pokemon, there's a bunch of other sort of toys there, obviously. It's in the uh, show name, Comics and Toy Show. And so obviously there's a lot of Funko Pops, but um, a lot of fun figurines or figures to check out as well. Um, such a big variety, I feel like, at this show because it's not just cards, even though there's a large proportion of people that sell cards here. Um, yeah, I was actually kind of interested in that Entei from uh, Heart Goes Soul Silver, but it was kind of damaged. So I passed up on that opportunity. Uh, but yeah you know look through some more binders to see you know if there's anything worthwhile to pick up especially uh, maybe some like sun and moon era stuff something that's not too hyped up you know i don't really want to be picking up too many of the uh, evolving skies cards or the sword and shield cards i do think those are kind of uh, inflated right now just because everybody's talking about the alt arts uh, so I try to avoid those um, and pick up some of the Sun and Moon stuff, for example, or so stuff from Hidden Fates that I feel like people don't really talk about anymore or not as often anymore. And yeah, this this vendor, great cards, uh, some great EX, Level X, um, you know, Middle Era, Plasma, Blast, uh, black and white cards. Here, yeah, more games, toys, uh, some, you know, this booth had a little bit of Pokemon, not too much, but mainly they just kind of sell the standard sealed stuff. Um, yeah, here's another look at some of the other collectibles we got here. A lot of uh, action figures as well. Um, you know, this there seems to be quite a lot at these booths. And what we ended up picking up at the last minute was pretty cool. So these are mini tins, but more specifically, they're K19 mini tins. So they should contain XY evolutions in them. Uh, and they were only $20, so it comes with XY evolutions and sword and shield. Uh, so that's what we hope it comes with. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. And here you can see me quickly checking uh, if they do contain an XY evolution pack. And it does, so I think we're good there. Uh, so it seems like it was a pretty good deal. And that was pretty much it. Please leave a like if you did enjoy this video and subscribe if you want to. It goes a long way. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking out the video and I'll see you guys in another one. Peace out.